Owner's man, just looked at it, not read it. Did you ever just look at it? Consumer <laughs> expert Amy Davis, live in our garage this morning. Yeah, guys, so we moved to the garage because I wanted to show you what I found. Speaking of an owner's manual, this is a relic many of you may never have seen. I found it inside my glove box. That's probably where yours is, too, with the spine intact if you've never taken the time to open it up and read it. If you haven't, you should because there are specific recommendations for your vehicle. How often you should get the oil changed, how often you should get the transmission fluid flushed, or have your air filter changed because if you don't know those things, you will likely be sold a service and you'll have to pay for something you don't actually need. The fluids on most newer model cars are not easy to check yourself anymore. Most cars nowadays, about all you can check is the oil. That's because cars are missing the dipsticks for coolant and transmission fluid. Jim Peterson is an ASE certified master technician with Colony One Auto Center in Stafford. He said mechanics at many speedy oil change businesses are also quick to upsell you on services you don't need, but not always to intentionally rip you off. They see 30,000 miles, they'll go down the list. Our manufacturer recommends all this and that's what they try to sell. That's also why you should try to get your car serviced at the same business each time. If you hop around, one shop won't know the last shop already flushed your transmission fluid. So if you're near the recommended mileage to have it done, they're going to tell you your car needs it. But if you have a little bit of knowledge and you've kept track of what happens with your car, then you can you can back you you know you can throw an answer back at them saying, "Well, I just had this done last oil change." Why do I need it again? So what's the worst that can happen if you decline those frequently recommended services like a new air filter? Air filters got to get pretty bad to actually affect performance. What you might notice is rougher idling or that you're using more fuel. Skipping a transmission fluid flush can be more dangerous. It makes the transmission run hot and as it runs hot the fluid breaks down even faster and then the components inside just literally start destroying themselves. But when in doubt, Peterson says you almost always have time to double check those recommendations. I would always say get a second opinion. All right, guys, so another great resource we want to show you here is called OpenBay.com. I've pulled it up as an app on my phone, but you can also just check it on your computer at home. This will list, you can put in your car's make and model and year. It'll tell you all of those recommendations if you don't want to refer to the owner's manual when you need to have those services done. But the other thing it'll do is tell you average prices in your area for those services. If you think that someone has quoted you a price that's too high, you can just refer to this. So we're going to put a link to OpenBay.com on our website. Website, click to Houston.com in the consumer section. Rachel Owen. Oh, very good information. Uh,